it's me, Goku. And today we're interviewing Android 18. Why? I don't know. It <laughs> seems like something to be fun. Uh, so what makes you tick? Well, a lot of things do, but I guess you'll have to find that out with the questions you ask, won't you? Pretty much. Um, question. Uh, one. Uh, let's see here. Why pick Krillin? <laughs> <laughs> Goku, there are things about the love life that you just don't understand. I mean, Krillin was there to stand up for me. I mean, he protected me. He even tried to make me human again. And for those of you who don't realize, I don't even think you know this, Goku, but I'm only half android. I'm not full. I'm only half android. That's neat. My brother. Yeah, my brother and I, we were kidnapped as kids and... When Krillin tried so hard to make me feel human, I just, I felt attracted towards him, and, you know, I just, we just clicked. Huh. So? You like happened. him better with hair, or better without hair? To be honest, I don't really care. I mean, Krillin's just Krillin, and, you know, he's my husband, and I love him no matter what. I don't care what he looks like or how he dresses. He's still my love. Aw. Are you aware that he named your child... After an ex-girlfriend After his. After an ex-girlfriend. Yes, I am. I honestly... I have to admit, when when I found out that that had happened, I'm not going to lie, I got so pissed. And, you know, it just makes me think, like, could you have come up with a better name than your slutty ex-girlfriend? Like, for real. You've got to be kidding me. But kind of messed up that she kind of looked yeah. like a younger version of Bulma as well. I'll give you that. Yeah, she did. But, you know, Marin is my beautiful daughter, and I love her. I mean, I, I would I would protect her, and I would give my life for her. She's my little girl. Aww. I'm not giving her up. I don't care if her what her name is. I'm just happy she's she's here. I couldn't Let's ask for anything see. Trying else. to think. Um, what do you think of the turn of power that we're having currently? Um, like, do you think oh, uh, Universe 7 will s survive, or... Goku, there is no doubt in my mind that we will survive. I mean, we've got you, we have Widow's Peak, we have me and my brother. I mean, Widow's Peak. Yes, That's we funny. did lose we we did lose three of our teammates, but we're still going strong and you know, we've got more to come. I mean, Frieza just got rid of Frost, so that's one of the I didn't like Frost. Nuggets. He wasn't very nice. Frost is actually not too bad. I have to admit, Frost had a bit of a flair that I really like. Oh. Even though he was a bit of a twerk. Shout out to Lord of the Fries. I'm not going <laughs> Lord of the Fries. Why yes. do you call him that? Why not? Why? Isn't that what he's called? F R I no, Z A. Frieza. It's Frieza. That's how he pronounces it. He says it all the time. It's Lord Frieza. Or you could just call him Freezy Pop. I mean, I know I do. <laughs> so, I've been saying it wrong this entire time? It's not Frieza? Yeah. No, it's Frieza. It's Lord Frieza. Damn it! Yes, you have been saying it wrong. <laughs> that's, that's unfortunate for me. Um, uh, uh, trying to think well, of more questions. Um, I'm gonna, uh, I really should have written, written down some stuff in advance. Um, 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 um. I've got nothing. Goku, relax, relax. You can ask anything. It can be like the dumbest thing. You don't, it doesn't, it's really, just relax. How do you feel about, um, apple juice? <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be that random, but you know, I, well, not my fave, but it's not bad. <laughs> what about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Are you really going to start sc discussing food right now? Well, I'm hungry, so... Are you kidding me? Yeah. I haven't eaten today. <laughs> I mean, food is good, but I mean, it's not my favorite sandwich. I'd honestly have to say my favorite sandwich has to be tuna. I love tuna. Hmm. Fishy. The tuna's <laughs> a fish. Get it? Uh, let's see here. Um... Um, 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 can we go eat? I'm, I'm kind of still stuck on the whole food thing. Well, Goku, I have to tell you, it's not really polite if, um, if you leave in the middle of a show. I mean, didn't you do that with Frieza? Yeah, but he was totally on and board. We went to go get sushi. I, I mean, you wanted to leave right in the middle of 
your video, but didn't you blow a hole in the side of his ship? Honestly, I do remember you doing that. I don't remember when you did it in the video, but that was... Yeah, very, I, I very, did very it like this! Dragon fast! And I blew a hole in uh, Kame House. Um, please don't tell Master Roshi! And if I do? Um, okay. he will probably destroy me with a command man while I'm asleep. Go, 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 I'll make you a deal. Uh -huh. I'll make you a deal. I won't tell Master Roshi if you do something for me. Um, Chi Chi says I'm not supposed to do things that involve children and or animals. <laughs> no, 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 no. I meant you have to train with me in the hyperbolic time chamber for... How long? You have How to long? be my training partner for the rest of the year. I'm totally my down. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Let's go. I didn't mean now. I meant after the video. But I want to train. So Goku, do not make me break your arm like I did Vegeta's. I am not afraid. Oh, please don't. How are you afraid of me, but Vegeta's not? What the because fuck? Because Vegeta, Vegeta has this it, thing it, called it, it, pride, and he. Likes to wave it around. Kind of like, uh... He's an idiot. That's all there is to it. He's an idiot. That that could be it, too. Um, let's see. Um, 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 trying to think of more questions. Where do you buy your clothes? Well, I buy all my clothes from different places. Um, actually, the outfit that you're seeing right now, the white shirt, the belt, the blue jeans, and the shoes, um, I bought all those from Sears. 50% off, too. Um, I buy well. my clothes at Forever 21. Um, I actually buy my clothes for my daughter at Justice, but I go to Abercrombie and Fitch. I go to Hot Topic, Spencer's. I buy my clothes from pretty much everywhere. I don't stick to just one place. I mean, I feel like it's good to move around and kind of, kind of get in the... It, it just depends on what I'm in the mood for. I mean, well, you basically wear the same thing all the time. I like. Well, I have I actually have multiple copy. It, it's typical ca uh, cartoon I'm syndrome where you have multiple, you know, outfits that look exactly alike. That's not true. You have the you have the training gi that we made you. You have that yeah, one. Yeah, it's shredded to pieces though. Oh, oh, you did. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um, um. Uh, do you enjoy, what, what are some things you enjoy? Well, um, for those that don't know, I actually have a secret hobby of singing. I do like to sing. Um, I actually like to read, but singing is my main hobby. What's I've, your favorite book and or author? Oh, hmm. I'd have to say I'm really partial to the Twilight and Harry Potter series. J.K. Rowling. Oh, I love Meyer. Harry Potter. Awesome. You do? Yes. Favorite book in Harry Potter, if you don't mind me asking? Mine was... Wait, let me hear yours first. Uh, I kind of liked Order of the Phoenix. Definitely Hallows was good, too. Okay, for the movies... Uh, for the movies, I'd have to say that The Half-Blood Prince was pretty good, but I also loved The Goblet of Fire. But for my book, I think The Chamber of Secrets got my attention. I mean, just something about the book. I mean, it had all, all those little extra parts in it that the movie didn't have, and it just it drew me in more than the first did. I mean, don't get me wrong. Sorcerer's Stone was a fantastic book. Yeah. But if you guys want to see what how much better the story gets, read the first book of the new series where Harry's all grown up and his son is at Hogwarts. It's absolutely fantastic. I can't wait for the second one to come out. It's amazing. Android 18. Lover of, uh, fine literature. Uh, um, <laughs> how come nobody calls you Lazuli? Isn't that your first name? I feel like people should call you that rather than 18. It actually is. Uh, Lazuli is my real name, but I just, I got, I don't know. It just, I was, I got so... Force of habit, I guess? ...by that stupid ass Dr. Jarrell that killed him. Just, you know, I, it's just kind of grown a tad. It's kind of like how... Vegeta calls you, you Kak it's like one of those things like you know Vegeta calls you Kakarot but you don't like being do you actually like being called Kakarot because I feel like it's one of those things like you hate I being mean, called it, by your real name it doesn't I'm just so used to Vegeta doing it that it doesn't really bother me anymore 
But when other people really? do it, it's kind of weird. Really? Mm-hmm. Like who? Like, I feel like Vegeta's the only... Wait, who else has called you? No, Broly does. Bro- yeah, Broly did. Yeah, that's part of the reason why I don't like it. Is that because... His, he you, would not stop screaming like, it. Yeah. <laughs> or is it due to the fact that your name is what triggered his? Well, no, it's just, it's literally just that. He would not stop screaming it. I mean, it must make you feel better knowing that when Kale goes into her female Broly form, she says Goku instead. That must be I a mean, it doesn't bit work of... any better. <laughs> it's still How, creepy. She did, she did take... Okay, I... <laughs> I, I will give you that, but no, it's basically for me. It's just basically like it's one of those things. Like being, I hate being called by my real name, and I prefer a nickname over anything else. But I've actually grown used to being called Android Eighteen so much. I feel like it is my real name now, so it's kind of. Um, I'm trying to think of a nickname to it, call you. Between, um, hmm, I don't know. Nothing's coming to mind. <laughs> <laughs> well, Goku, um, if you want, I mean, you could ask me pretty much anything, you know, I mean, there's more to being, I mean, you could ask about fights and stuff, you know, favorite I got one, and I got one, like I got one. Were... Where do babies okay. come from? Because Chi Chi said she had a bun in the <laughs> oven, and I kept checking the oven, and there was nothing in there, and she kept getting fatter and, and, and fatter and fatter. Was she eating all the buns? How does this work? No. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, Chi Chi, if you're watching this, please don't kill me, but you have done nothing with teaching Goku about how to be a man, so it looks like he's gonna need a real woman to teach him. Oh, so. Shout out to Lord of the Fries. What? Freezes, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. By the way. By the way, okay, okay, hi to my favorite Emperor Lord Frieza. Hello. Um, Kai, okay, hi. Wait, what was I? Where Ka- babies come Ka- from? Okay, hi. Where babies um, come well, from? Well, when, when she said she had a bun in the oven, it, it's actually, it's, it's, um, it's a metaphor. She's not actually having, she doesn't have a bun in the oven. The bun itself is the baby. And the baby. She was eating in the babies? Oven. No, 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 no. Goku, Goku, let me explain. No, no listen, listen. The metaphor, it's a bun in the oven means she has a baby in her belly. The baby is growing inside of her. The baby itself is the bun, but the baby was growing inside of her belly, which is the oven. It, it's just a metaphor. It's it's not to be taken literally. Believe me, I've oh, been there. Oh, makes sense. Didn't, well, kind of. Does it really? really? No, it doesn't. Really? Okay. It doesn't make sense at all. I have. I'm confused. <laughs> what does this have to do with babies? How do buns no, no, no. relate to babies in any way? Because it, th- no, the bun is the baby itself. Like it's, that's the metaphor of it. That that's a metaphor. It's just a figure of speech. She's saying that the bun in the oven is your baby growing inside of her. You got Chi Chi pregnant. So the baby was growing inside of her. Oh, you'll understand. So, so when when, you, what, is it the same thing when someone says they put their hair up in a bun? No, no, there's, it's different buns. It's different. That's confusing. It, it, I, I know. I t- okay. I feel like if you weren't dropped on your head, you would get this. No offense, but it's the truth. I'm am sorry. What are you sorry for? You didn't do anything. If anything, I blame your grandfather. No offense again. He's the one who dropped you. Yeah. He was. But um, this has been fun. Uh, yes, it has. Part really two has. will be on Android 18's channel where she gets to interview me. Uh, till next time, guys. This has been Goku and Android 18. Whom I still Bye, need guys. To, I, need, I still need to come up with a nickname for you. What do you nickname. guys think in the comments? What? Nickname? What, wait, why do I need a nickname? Because we can't just call you Android 18. Android 18 is my nickname. Leslie is my real name. I'm used to being called 18. As I said, it's my re- it's my real name slash nickname, Goku. I'm I still used want to being one for 18. you. Ugh, but, fine, whatever. But until next time, guys. Kyle! Okay, bye. Hey, how you doing? Did you like this video? Then how about subscribing to the channel? Leave a like and comment as well if you don't mind. Also, check out my previous videos. I'm sure you'll find something you like. But until next time, guys, this has been Goku. Kyle! Hey, boy!